What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GTP Ravens Media. Bring Ravens content every single day. If you want to stay updated with Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I put a brand new video because it is the offseason. For those of you that are new into the offseason activities of this channel, uh, we will be getting started on the mock draft Mondays right when the Super Bowl ends. We're very excited for that, doing all the scouting and things like that. Um, but another thing that we like to do is we love to analyze all the press conferences. And that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to be analyzing, though, the Greg Roman discussion of it. I may upload another video tomorrow morning um, prior to the other Ravens press conferences, analyzing the other things that they talked about. But I figured you guys would want to hear a lot more about Greg Roman than the other things. So I'll talk about just Greg Roman um, and the offense-related uh, discussions from it. But I will talk about um, other things that John Harbaugh brought up. And then obviously there's more pressers this week and I will talk about those as well. Um, so, you know, make sure to stay tuned so you don't have to watch the full, you know, I think this one was about 45 minutes long. Uh, so if you don't have time to watch the full press or anything like that, you can always check in uh, to these recap videos and things like that. Normally I'll get them out much sooner, but today I was a little bit busy. I apologize for the later video, but let's get into it. John Harbaugh says that Greg Roman will be back. And I think that's what everyone's focusing on. That's the terminology that he used. That was the question that was asked. Okay, so Coach Harbaugh, are you confirming that he will for sure be back? And Harbaugh was like, well, nothing's nothing's definite, okay? Um, you know, he was leaving it open. He said, I have plans for Roma to be here. I, I believe Greg has plans for him to be here. So overall, like, the, the plan right now is for him to be there. However... Harbaugh also said, you know, it's still early. That's a, that's a, that's an indicator that I think we need to be focusing on a little bit. You know, it's still early. And and I thought it was kind of ironic because Harbaugh was talking about it and he was like, yeah, what I what I do is I when I'm looking at these coaching changes, when I'm looking at these big decisions, you know, I listen to what people have to say and he, he listens to the media, hears what the fans say, and he's like, and then I, you know, I weigh all of that. I don't want to know how did he weigh the fans and just be like, yeah, this guy's staying. Like, I thought it was kind of funny that he brought up that he like kind of like takes into account what the media and everything is like that is saying, because most of the media is pretty critical of Greg Roman. And also a lot of media has been a little bit talking about the hot seat for John Harbaugh. And I, I just thought that was kind of funny um, that he brought that up and then was just like, yeah, but Greg Stang. Uh, but another thing that he talked about was he, he defended Greg Roman and he was like, Hey, Last three years, this has been great. But if you look at last year, uh, you know, the Ravens run game was not at the level that it was in previous seasons. And he went even farther to say that a lot of it was off of just Lamar Jackson's scrambles. And we got to thank Lamar for the Ravens finishing in like the top five and rushing it, you know. I think that's something that's very interesting to point out because if you're looking at it and you're thinking Lamar in something where you're bringing up Greg Roman in the run game, and you're like, well, we got to thank Lamar. I think that's indicating the recognition that Lamar Jackson is carrying Greg Roman's system, right? Because if you look at it, he, he talked about this as well. He said, you know, at the beginning of the year, we were putting, getting all of those big plays, those chunk plays. At the end of the year, that slowed down. Well, we were missing Lamar Jackson at the end of the year. So Lamar Jackson is helping Greg Roman's system to get those big plays, to get all of those things to be working. And I think that's what so many Ravens fans have been saying, is that Lamar helps Greg Roman more than Greg Roman helps Lamar. So I think at least, at least, at the bare minimum, I think John Harbaugh at least understands that Lamar is the system, not Greg Roman, and he needs to be the focal point. And so I think that was something that we really need to, um, you know, take into account when we're looking at it, because I think everyone's looking at it thinking, oh, yeah, John Harbaugh said Greg Roman is staying. Yes. But there were still some key indicators on exactly what he said that says like, hey, you know what? Yeah, Roman may be here, but it wasn't something where he was like, oh, yeah, Greg Roman's back. He's staying like absolutely 100 percent. He wasn't saying that. He was like, yeah, the plan right now is this. It's still early. You know, I think Greg wants to be here. So, you know, and then thinking Lamar, I think those are some things to key into. Another huge takeaway that I had. He said this, and I quote, 
We need to choose our scheme direction wisely. Another key indicator right there. Because if we've been looking at, you know, Greg Roman, it's been, what is the scheme? What is this? And he talk, and he, he talks about, oh, we got to figure out the running and the RPOs. And do we want to go read option, design offense, options, design run, quarterback run options is what I meant to say. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing that I took from it was that he brought something up that we have been waiting for. And I quote, he said, also get into the no huddle stuff. No huddle. How many of us, including myself, have been calling for the Ravens to utilize a hurry up style of offense in a lot of situations? Because it seems like the Ravens have been able to pick themselves out up and out of those holes when they go to that offense, right? You know, look at the Colts game, right? Look at the Chiefs game. Lamar Jackson goes, all right, we got to go and we got to score every possession for the rest of the game. And that's exactly what they do. It's what they do. And, and I think a lot of people, um, you know, are a little bit disappointed that it's not utilized more because all we ever get to see it is the only time we ever get to see it is when the Ravens are getting killed. It's like, hey, this is something you can use when you're not losing by 20 points. Let's utilize it. Early in the game, just see how it works and just catch the defense off guard. Don't be as predictable. But, you know, overall, I just kind of really wanted to give my thoughts on the Greg Roman side of things. You know, Greg Roman staying. Obviously, I'm disappointed. I, I don't want Greg Roman to be here. I'm not one to to take that stance lightly. Like, I, I don't want him to be here, and I'm okay if you disagree. If you want him to be here, you have thoughts on Greg Roman, let me know. If you feel like I left something out, Greg Roman related in the pressers, Please tell me uh, in the comment section down below. I'll talk with you guys in the comment section, talk about all of these things. But I will also probably be making another video tomorrow going over the rest of things, um, talking about like the defense and stuff like that that was brought up. Also, Lamar's injury, uh, maybe a little bit on T. Martin getting interviewed for the Bills offensive coordinator job. A um, lot of things that I can still talk about. And obviously the other press conferences and things like that could have a couple. Could have a fair amount of uploads this week, so it should be a lot of fun. Hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see all that fun Ravens content. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the update, and things like that. And I'll see all of you again tomorrow.